growing up in a society where fast food is around every corner and TV dinners are becoming a regular thing in families, it's important for you, as well as your families, to eat healthy, nutritious foods so that you can grow up to live healthy lives. Now, don't worry, that doesn't mean that you have to eat only fruits and vegetables or disgusting foods. There are plenty of delicious foods that are also very healthy for you. Every kid should know about the food pyramid. There are six different levels. The first contains bread, cereal, rice, and pasta. The next one is your vegetable group. The third is your fruits. The fourth, your milk, yogurt, and cheese group. The fifth, meat, poultry, fish, dry beans, eggs, and nuts. And the sixth, your fats, oils, and sweets. For each group, you should get a certain amount of servings every day. For the first, you should have six to 11 servings. For your vegetables, three to five. For your fruits, two to four. The milk, yogurt, and cheese should have two to three. So should the meat, poultry, fish, dry beans, eggs, and nuts. The fats, oils, and sweets you should eat sparingly. Now, don't forget to get a good balanced meal, including each of these servings for every meal you eat. Examples of healthy food that you can eat. If you're looking for dessert, try some popsicles instead of ice cream. They have a lot less fat and taste just as good. Now, when you're coming home from school, everyone likes a snack. Try an apple instead of a cookie. Or, if you're not up for the fruit, you can go for yogurt. Dairy is great. Not to mention, they have so many different flavors, what's not to like about yogurt? Now, if you're not a sweets kid, you can always try something salty. You have salting crackers, or maybe a pickle. Now, for dinner time, I know TV dinners are really easy, but try convincing your parents of making spaghetti. It's just as easy, and it's good for you. Another good option is sandwiches. They have lots of meats, veggies, dairy, anything you could possibly think of, and they're very good for you. Another option is soup. Vegetable soup or alphabet soup is always fun, especially for young kids. You get to spell it whatever you'd like. Now when it comes to drinks, everyone loves soda pop, don't they? Why don't you try milk? It's full of goodness and calcium to help you grow. Or if you want to try something different and new, chocolate milk. It has about half the calories as Soda Pop does, and it's still very good for you. Don't forget, just because you have to eat healthy doesn't mean you don't have to eat yummy foods. Another very important part of staying healthy throughout your life is exercise. This can mean running, playing sports, or just playing in the park. It's proven that children your age need about an hour of activity every day. Now, most of you will get this during your recess at school, but if you don't, just remember to go outside and play in the park. It's important to keep this up throughout your lives. As an adult, you'll need about 30 minutes. Don't forget the two important things for living a healthy life. The first is to eat nutritious foods. It's important for everyone, not just kids. So remember, take it into your families. And the second thing is exercise. 60 minutes a day or 30 for your parents.